Hey everybody, welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, episode 41, season 2, part 3. Um, God damn, wonderful. Last episode was great, it was fucking stupid, it was so good. Uh, here's a countdown for you, 3, 2, 1, go. Last episode and the other Darby brother were what I want from this series, and what I've been promised that the other parts are going to be like. I apologize in advance if I don't talk much during this one. This game... <gasps> Why are you bra- DRIVE! I intentionally lost! He's gonna do that skip he can do on uh, Mario 64 where you just skip half the level by by taking Rainbow Road just right. Or Wario Stadium. I can never get the Wario Stadium one to work. So he's just like his brother, where it's once you admit defeat, it's over. Oh, I like how fucked up his puppets are. This is, uh, how many times has Kekion been down? Uh, we first met him when he was, like, not in control of himself. Then, um, then he got his eyes torn out. There was another time where it wasn't really him, it was a clone, so that doesn't count. This is, like, the third time. It just feels like it happens to him a lot, where he loses control of his body. Okay, and this is the one that we have the intro, so I can actually have a conversation, but I already had it, so I guess whatever. I don't know who would actually say no to having, like, you know, three episodes in one day. It's not viable on the regular, but considering that... With the two-parters, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks if you don't have both the episodes in the same day. Um, not being someone who consumes this content, I just make it. Um... The linking it up is something that, like, is how to best do it is hard for me to figure out. So the reason that I do the two-part episodes in the same day is because I was informed, hey, it's kind of fucking annoying to do that. Um, 
And I, I just kind of hate it when they leave you with a cliffhanger ending and you got to wait like a week or whatever. I've got a much shorter wait time for the episodes that I put out, but I can at least understand that. So I think um, if I'm correct, it actually ends on... Okay, yeah, so 42, 43, and 44 look like they're all together. And then there's 45, 46, 47, they're all together. And then there's 48, which is its own thing. Um, I guess the better question is, what should I do with episode 48? Um, that might have to be in the same day. So maybe next week we finish this, this part off, this season off. It's pretty extra to have, like, separate consoles set up. Oh, he just called you out. Play this baseball game with me. That's how well you know it. Okay, that's cool of him. That's sporting. <laughs> Just checking in on the friends. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's a baseball! Rocket lawn chair. <sighs> What's the pin for? Oh, fuck off. You just wanted to make it so that way they'd be in the game. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Hey, did you guys know that he was born on January 5th? Nice. What? <laughs> you a fucking scrub kid? My son, my grandson is a scrub. You'll never be MLG Pro.
You know all you have to do is press the button. Yeah, exactly! Like, couldn't you just use Star Platinum to win this? Like, do DDR or something. Or fucking fighting game. How many infants have ra wagered their s souls against you? Okay, now might not be the time for that. Like, it's... Do we have to, like, go over this every single time that we take a swing? Because it's going to be a real long-ass game of... God damn it. How can you be this shit with Star- Like, it's just press the button, dude. You have Star Platinum to tell you exactly when to do it, too. The fuck are you doing? I almost understand how to play the game now. It's not that difficult, my dude. So I don't know baseball well. How long he can he keep doing this? Assuming he doesn't get any outs. Ooh, something weird going on with the art there. What did he do? What did he do? He stopped sucking at the video game? God, I was playing this fighting game against this guy once. I think it was Street Fighter that had the red guy that could oil up. And I basically don't know how to play fighting games. But I looked up how to do the, like, oil yourself up move. Which leads to some, like, hardcore combo that, like, kicks the guy's ass. I think it's, like, oil roller coaster or something ridiculous like that. And so I spent the entire thing just trying to do the oil combo... And ended up kicking his ass because he kept walking into me while I was like, not really button mashing, but just failing to pull off a very simple combo. And my skill level was so shit that he just didn't know how to respond to it, I guess. Or he was just really bad and button mashing was enough to kick his ass. I don't know which, but he had to like go outside and have a smoke afterwards. He was so fucking pissed. Highlight moment of my life. He said something to the effect of, well, yeah, anyone can win if you butt mash. It's good. I 
I mean, it's going to turn around in a second here, because he's not going to just... Like, this is a shit episode if he just kicks his ass now. Why is everyone drawn kind of funky this episode? Uh huh. Wait, why was your. Wait, what the fuck? So your 25 year old brother was hitting on your girlfriend when you were 15. Is there any calculation of that where someone's not a creeper? Like, that's weird, right? Like, how is that not weird? Like, either she was relatively close to his age right now, or closer to the other Darby's age. In which case, someone's being a creeper, or they cut the difference and it's like five years older, in which case she's 21 and he's 15, which is still creepy. There's literally not a combination that makes that not creepy. What the fuck? I don't think it matters whether or not you believe him or not. You just prepare the way you normally have been. You've been hitting him. Boop. <laughs> what is a fork ball? Listen, you don't have any room to talk. You're you're pretty fucking dumb too. Right. He declared the thing he didn't think was going to happen and prepared for it, I guess. No, he's just fucking with you. And your team has shit offense? It is cool that they do that, because that means... Yeah. Yeah, slam his ass! Destroy his kidney! He's just trying to figure out how his stand works. <laughs> you don't have to swing at that, though. It'll count as a ball if you...
Like if it's outside the batter's like square, then it counts as a a ball, right? If you don't swing at it. Of course he's going to declare a home run every time. So he's declaring things, but he knows only one of them is going to be right. That animation... Oh, is this the end of the episode? Wait, they don't beat him in this? Oh, what the hell? Is this supposed to be a three-parter? It's not calling it one. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... um. I'm going to do the next three on, you know, the, the next day, Tuesday. And then I'll do three or four up to y'all on next Friday. Oh, you are. Oh, and you're going to make us wait? Fuck you. He's doing the same bullshit now. Interesting. Cool. Oh, man, that's going to be good. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I guess I'll see you guys. It's calling. Okay. Okay, hold up. It says the next three are part of Miasma of Pestil or Miasma of the Void. Miasma is Pestilence is a Warhammer thing, of course. Uh, it, what? Is this like part of a two-parter? No, this is part one. So this is a different thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna treat it as if the next three are all part of a three-block thing. So I'm sorry that you're not getting the the end of this guy, this episode, or today. But I think that's right. I think I'm doing it right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. The three episodes will be out on Tuesday uh, as per usual. And then the other three episodes will be out on, on Friday. But I think I got it right. Um, I'll, I'll see you guys then. Weird. Bye.